Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the drugs acting on RAS. Actually, what is RAS? How it works? Why it is so much important for our body? RAS is a hormonal system that is essential, which is essential for the regulation of blood pressure and fluid volume within our body. As we all know that our normal blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeter of Hg, means millimeter of mercury. In some cases, due to some reasons, blood pressure falls below the normal. So when the blood pressure falls below the normal, to restore the blood pressure, we need this system. Let's talk about the component of RAS. Renin is the initiator of this system. Renin, then angiotensinogen, angiotensin 1, angiotensin 2, aldosterone, and angiotensin converting enzyme. These are the basic components of RAS. Renin. Renin is an enzyme which is produced by the kidney. Then angiotensinogen. It is a plasma protein which is synthesized in the liver. Liver is the largest organ which is present in our body. Then angiotensin 1. It is a peptide produced by the axon of renin. Then angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. It is a peptide hormone that causes vasoconstriction and increase in blood pressure. Then aldosterone. Aldosterone is a steroid hormone produced by the zona glomerulosa of the adrenal cortex of adrenal gland. Next, angiotensin converting enzyme. It is secreted in the lungs and kidney by endothelium of the blood vessels. Okay, let's talk about the renin. Actually, what is renin? Renin is an enzyme which is produced by the JG cell of the kidney. JG means juxta glomerular cells of the kidney. Juxta means near. It is also known as angiotensinogenase. The main function of renin is to convert the angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Actually, when the systemic hypotension occurs, that time JG cell releases the renin in response to low blood pressure. Means renin is produced when the blood pressure is low and the main function of renin is to increase the blood pressure. Renin is made up of 340 amino acids. Once the renin is released, it directly releases into the systemic circulation. Next, angiotensinogen. Angiotensinogen is a Angiotensinogen is produced by the liver and its secretion is increased by the glucocorticoid and estrogen and it is a plasma globulin. Next one is angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. Angiotensin 2 receptor may be present in the blood vessel but at the same time they are also present in the adrenal gland. The main function of angiotensin 2 is the production of vasoconstriction means it constricts the blood vessel. Vaso means blood vessel, constriction means narrowing the diameter of blood vessels. And other function of angiotensin 2 is it produces the aldosterone and antidiuretic hormone ADH. Okay, let's talk about the mechanism or yeah, pathophysiology of RAS. When the systemic circulation or yeah, systemic hypotension occurs, at that time, the G cell of our kidney produces renin. Renin is an enzyme which is responsible for the angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Angiotensinogen is nothing but the plasma globulin which is produced by the liver. In the Systemic circulation, renin in presence of renin, angiotensinogen get converted into angiotensin 1. Then in presence of ACE, ACE means angiotensin converting enzyme, it is an enzyme. In presence of ACE, angiotensin 1 get converted into angiotensin 2. This is mainly happens in the pulmonary circulation. And angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. It constricts the wall of arterioles and also it is responsible for the secretion of ADH, antidiuretic hormones. 
ADH is also known as vasopressin. ADH is nothing but a hormone synthesized by the hypothalamus and it is stored in the posterior pituitary gland. It increases the thirst feeling. Due to increase in thirst feeling, consumption of water is also increased, which is results in increasing the blood pressure. And angiotensin 2 also increases the aldosterone secretion. Aldosterone is a steroid hormone which is produced by the zona glomerulosa of the adrenal cortex. Adrenaline, uh, sorry, aldosterone will directly act on the DCT, distal convoluted tubule of the nephron. It increases the permeability and reabsorption of sodium in water. Due to the increase in reabsorption of sodium and water, blood volume is also increases, which leads to the increase in BP. This is the basic mechanism of RAS system. Actually, how it works. Angiotensin 2 is the key player of the RAS system. Due to angiotensin 2, vasoconstriction occurs. Next, we'll talk about the drugs acting on RAS system, means renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. This is the, this drugs having direct effect on this system. First one is SCEI, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Next one is renin inhibitors, then angiotensin receptor blocker, then aldosterone receptor antagonist. Okay, let's talk about the ACEN. This is the first line drug to treat the hypertension. ACEI means angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. The mechanism of action of this class of drug is it inhibits the function of ACE. ACE is mainly responsible for the production of angiotensin 2 from angiotensin 1. It inhibits the formation of angiotensin 2. Example of ACE are caprophyll, enalapril, lisinopril, ramipril, etc. Enalapril is a product. We can use this drug in treatment of systemic hypertension. Hypertension means high BP, CHF, congestive heart failure. This category of drug is uh, used in the treatment of CHF due to it decreases the preload and uh, uh, ventricular preload and afterload. Then it is used in the treatment of hypertensive patient with diabetes mellitus. Adverse effects are severe hypotension. Hypotension means low BP. It may cause severe hypotension, then acute renal failure, hyperkalemia. Hyper means increase, kalemia means potassium quantity. It may cause hyperkalemia, then dry cough. The SCE. SCE is also responsible for the breakdown of bradykinin into an inactive metabolite. Bradykinin is nothing but an inflammatory mediator. Due to this function, it may cause dry cough, then ultra sense of taste, then dry fever. Next class of drug is direct renin inhibitors. Only one example is there in this category of drug. The function of the mechanism of direct renin inhibitors are it inhibits the activity of renin. Renin is an enzyme which is produced by the ZZ cell of the kidney when the blood pressure is in low. When a systemic hypotension occurs at that time, ZZ cell of the kidney produces renin. It is responsible for the conversion of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Pharmacological effect, it reduces the production of angiotensin 1 as well as angiotensin 2 and aldosterone. We can use this category of drug in the treatment of systemic hypertension means systemic hypertension means high BP. We can administer this drug through oral loads. Adverse effects are hyperkalemia means potassium quantity increase, renal impairments, potential teratogens. Next class is angiotensinogen receptor blockers. They will act by blocking the angiotensin receptor. The main receptor for the angiotensin 2 is 
81 receptor they blockers of angio they also have the potential for more complete inhibition of angiotensin action in comparison with angiotensin converting enzyme no inhibition in bradykinin breakdown or less chance of cough examples of this category of drugs are losartan valsartan telmisartan etc adverse effect are severe hypotension means low bp acute renal failure it may cause renal failure hyperkalemia means increase the potassium quantity then dry cough it may cause dry cough they are contraindicated during the time of pregnancy thank you